now we are going to solve this page number 117 chapter 5 in this problem it is given that solve the equations by completing square method here total three problems are given first is solve the first problem so it is given that x square minus 10x plus 9 is equal to 0 to solve the quadratic equation by completing square method we have to transpose plus 9 from LHS to RHS then we can write it as x square minus 10x is equal to minus 9 in LHS we not have complete square means we have x square term and 2ab term but we not have the b square term so we have to add b square term on LHS and the RHS here b in b place we have 5 so we add 5 square on LHS and RHS then it can written as x square minus 2 into 5 into x plus 5 square is equal to minus 9 plus 5 square on LHS it is in the form of x square minus 2ab plus b square so it can written as x minus 5 whole square in RHS minus 9 plus 25 we get a plus 16 now to find x value x minus 5 whole square is equal to 16 is written as x minus 5 is equal to 16 to the power of 1 by 2 here 1 by 2 is nothing but square root so it, this can be written as x minus 5 is equal to plus or minus root 16 here 16 is nothing but 4 square so it can be written as x minus 5 is equal to plus or minus 4 so this can be written as x minus 5 is equal to 4 and x minus 5 is equal to minus 4 we transpose minus 5 from LHS to RHS this can be written as x is equal to 4 plus 5 then we get x is equal to 9 and transpose minus from minus 5 from LHS to RHS this can be written as x is equal to minus 4 plus 5 then we get uh, x is equal to 1 next second problem is given that x square minus 5x plus 5 is equal to 0 this is a quadratic equation we have to solve this quadratic equation by using the completing square method to solve the given quadratic equation by completing square method first of all we have to transpose the constant term plus 5 from LHS to RHS then we can write it as x square minus 5x is equal to minus 5 so here the 2ab term not have so we have to write the 5x as 2 into 5 by 2 into x in LHS we not have the completing square so we have to complete the square we have to add the b term so here the b term is 5 by 2 so we have to add 5 by 2 whole square on LHS and RHS then it can be written as x square minus 2 times of 5 by 2 x plus 5 by 2 whole square is equal to minus 5 plus 5 by 2 whole square so LHS can be written as x minus 5 by 2 whole square is equal to minus 5 plus 20 5 by 4 here 5 square means 25 in denominator 2 square means 4 so it can be written as minus 20 plus 25 by 4 after taking the LCM 4 after simplification this can be written as x minus 5 by 2 whole square is equal to 5 by 4 To further simplify, we can write the above equation as x minus 5 by 2 is equal to 5 by 4, 4 power 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is nothing but a square root. So this can be written as x minus 5 by 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 5 by 4. In RHS, it can be written as plus or minus root 5 by 2 because root 4 is written as 2 next we transpose minus 5 by 2 from LHS to RHS this can be written as x is equal to 5 by 2 plus or minus root 5 by 2 
then we can write the x values as x is equal to 5 by 2 plus root 5 by 2 and x is equal to 5 by 2 minus root 5 by 2. Now we are going to solve the third quadratic equation x squared plus 7x minus 6 is equal to 0 by completing square method. To solve this by completing square method, first step is we have to transpose constant term minus 6 from LHS to RHS. Then it can be written as x squared plus 7x is equal to 6. Here the middle term 7x is written as 2 into 7 by 2 into x. Here the y square term is not available, so we can write this as 7 by 2 whole square on both sides. So this can be written as x square plus 2 into 7 by 2 x plus 7 by 2 whole square is equal to 6 plus 7 by 2 whole square. After adding 7 by 2 whole square on LHS RHS, LHS becomes the complete square now. So this can be written as x plus 7 by 2 whole square and in RHS we can write 6 plus 49 by 4. Here 7 square is 49 in denominator 2 square means 4. After simplification we can write it as 6 4 is 24 plus 49 by 4. Next 24 plus 49 can be written as 73. It can be written as x plus 7 by 2 whole square is equal to 73 by 4. Now transpose 2 from LHS to RHS. It can be written as x plus 7 by 2 is equal to 73 by 4 whole power 1 by 2. Whole power 1 by 2 means square root. So this can be written as x plus 7 by 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 73 by 4. Here root 73 is root 73 square root. 4 is written as 2. So this can be written as x plus 7 by 2 is equal to plus r minus square root of 73 by 2. Next we transpose 7 by 2 from LHS to RHS. Then we can write x is equal to minus 7 by 2 plus r minus square root of 73 by 2. Then we can write the x values as x is equal to minus 7 by 2 plus square root of 73 by 2 and x is equal to minus 7 by 2 minus square root of 73 by 2.